Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Alrighty. Hello, welcome. This is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video on um, advanced macros. Uh, we're, I'm going to teach you guys how to merge macros. As you can see, I've got my mouse right here. I've got a macro running up in the top corner. Um, what this macro does is it automatically levels up one star or even two star champions. Um, to level 20 or 10 respectively just so you can kind of sacrifice champions and level them up to the next star rating uh, automatically so you don't have to um, run the macro swap the champions out a lot of videos on YouTube do that they show you how to make a macro to just level a set of three champions up this macro is going to take it a step further how do you automatically get it to swap you'll see after this it'll swap um, I haven't seen a video on YouTube like this yet, so if this interests you, please stay tuned, and we will jump into it right here. I'll kind of give you a little bit of a demo um, beforehand. So it's still running the macro. It just leveled them up. Now it's going to jump into here, um, and it's going to put three new champions on, um, and it will do the battle again. And it will start. And now it will do the battles again. It's very, very easy to set up. You just have to follow the steps. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And if you comment below and you need some help setting it up, feel free to join my Discord. I'll link it below as well. Uh, and I'll try to help you get set up with the macros. Uh, it's a lot of fun for me. And I, I think you'll enjoy it too. It makes, it makes leveling up food quite a bit easier. I'm going to stop this macro after this battle. Um, there we go. We'll stop it. Um, God, I feel like I should just do these last ones. Yep, let's do the last battle. So, basically, doing the macro, the best way to think of it is in two steps, right? The first thing you want it to do is replay this battle, right? What we're going to do is I'm going to create it. I'm going to create a brand new macro. I've got a bunch of macros here, but we'll create a brand new one. What you want to do is you want to get to this screen to record the first part of the macro, right? You're going to click record macro, replay, and then stop. I know that was really quick. But that's, that's literally it. Just you want to just record the click for the replay, right? So we've got that here and that's going to, we're going to call this click replay just so it's easy to kind of see. The next one that we want to record is the edit when we change our team, right? So we're going to click record macro, edit team, and then you want to filter by rank because we want to have all our one stars kind of at the back here. You're going to unclick your three champions and then you want to click top, left, down in that order, start, and then stop. That's your second macro. So this is going to be called swap champions all right so we'll do that now you want to come to this button right here it's called merge so you're going to click on this and this is a great way to it's it's almost if you're into programming you'll like this a lot but it's like writing your own program right so the first thing we're going to do is we want to we're going to pick our champions and we're going to start the battle right and then we'll fire up the macro so first thing we want to do is do our fights so this is click replay, fight the battle. For me, it takes three battles on 12-3 to um, max out the level one champion. So three battles there. And I got it, it takes about 15 seconds per battle. So we'll put that there. If, you, if this is confusing to you, you might want to go back and watch my other video. I'll also link that below um, on basic macros and how to set these ones up. But that we'll, we'll leave like that right so then after it does the three battles what we want it to do is jump in to, to swap the champions you do want to put a delay on this one of 15 seconds because it has to do that that it has to complete that final battle before you swap the champions you don't want it to jump in and swap the champions while you're still doing that final third battle um then once we jump into swapping the champions, there's really not anything you have to do there. You just wanted to run that macro to swap your champions. We're going to name this level one, one stars merge. I got so many macro names. So 
Then you want to come down here and you want to go to your macro settings. This is where you're going to pick how many one stars you want to do. Let's say I want to level up. Um, I want to do it five times. So if I go five times three, this will level up 15 one star champions to maximum. So I can put five right there. And then the interval between execution. This is your load screen time, right? So I'll explain this. Let me put three right there and I'll save it because it's going to take about three seconds to load it. And I'll, I'll give you a little demo right here. So then we're going to merge the macros and we've got the macro complete. If I click replay right here, there's no load screen. It immediately jumps right into the battle, right? So that's where I don't need a delay really kind of on my on my other macros. Um, but when I go to edit my team, and then I hit start from this screen, there's a load screen. It's it's a little different. See how there's the load screen? This load screen is this swap champions, or no, it's right here. This macro settings, that three second delay there accounts for that extra load screen that you have to encounter after swapping champions. We'll, we'll just close that right there. Okay. So a couple things to take into an account um, when you're doing this. If you're going to do it with one star champions, it, it's pretty easy. You just have to make sure you have enough energy. You can see I've got 1500 energy here. If you want to do it with two star champions, you have to make sure that you have no one star champions in your inventory, right? You have to go through and you have to get all of these champions fused into two stars at a minimum, right? You can't really do it with three star champions because as you're doing three star champions, you may loot two star champions. You'll get this guy, you get him a ton in 12-3. You may get some of these and then when you click to sort by rank and then you have it drag all the way to the end, the only way you can do three star champions or four stars or five stars if you really want to do it like that, you have to fill your inventory so they go to your mailbox. Super important on that. Um, so you can do three stars, you just got to make sure you have a lot of them, or you pull everything out of your vault and fill fill up kind of your, your bench, I guess you would say. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll fire this up. Uh, I kinda, I'll show you how it works again. Um, take a look right here. This is my second time recording this video today. The first time my audio did not work, and I actually learned something the second time around when doing this, um, I learned that, so the first time I did this, I, I kept going like this. I'd go replay, swap, replay, swap. And if you wanted to do five battles, I did it this way. But then I figured out, and you have to go and adjust each setting for each thing. I found out that you can just click repeat five times and put your interval there. Super handy. I'm glad I'm going to re-record re this and re-upload it. Um, so I will, so what you're going to do is you're going to click start. And then you're going to do, as soon as you let it load, you're going to click play. So I'm going to let this run through. I'll let it run through the swap. Um, as you can see, my mouse pointer's right there. Not clicking anything. I am running the macro up top, you can see. Um, yeah, and it, sh it should do all the work. Again, uh, I'll link my Discord below uh, in, the, in the about me section of the YouTube video. I don't have a big audience. I would appreciate any shares. Um, you know, tell your friends. I haven't seen any other videos like this on YouTube. Um, so a like, a comment, and and anything else I can do to kind of, you know, help your grind, help you progress through raid. Um, I just pulled my two man eaters today. It is the double void weekend. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Um, so I'm going to be leveling up a bunch of food to try to try to get my man eaters. Uh, and I'm going to throw Fane into my clan boss team. So making these macros helps um, level up food quite a bit. So right here, it's going to edit the team any day now. There we go. So now it'll go in. It'll do it by rank. Unselects all the champions, and I'm not doing anything right now. And there it is. Starts it up, running for the second time, and here's your second batch. Really handy, 
Um, again, you can do this with two stars. You can do it with three stars. Three stars does require you to fill your inventory. Um, and it should help you level up your champions. You know, I haven't seen anybody do merge macros. Uh, and, and I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think there's a lot more you can do with these merged macros. I haven't figured it out yet, but I will keep doing videos as I learn more about this kind of stuff. Alrighty. Well, that's the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate any support. Follow me on Twitch. I've got my Twitch right here on my Instagram as well, if you're interested in that. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.